What's going on guys? They released some more cards for the next Hearthstone expansion, so I figure we should look at them. Don't mind what's going on on the screen. First, we're looking at an 8-mana 4-4. Four four. Gloop Sprayer. Battlecry, summon a copy of each adjacent minion. I think this card is good, but the problem is it's 8-mana, so you're not going to be able to use it in anything. It's going to be very hard to actually make use of this card, and that's the reason I have it ranked so low. And if you are new to how I rank things, it's from uh, cards that are going to be least seen. And I'm going to talk about those ones first, and then go up to the better cards. Actually, skip the card. The card I think is going to see the least play is this card, Star Aligner. 7 mana, 7-7, seven, seven, Battle Cry if you control 3 minions with 7 health. <clears throat> Deal 7 damage to all enemies. This card is really powerful. The problem is, what are the odds that you're ever going to have 3 minions with 7 health? So, I don't think this card is going to see any play at all, at all. Like, the only hope it has is for Taunt Warrior. And even then, it's going to be really hard. I mean, look at this 4 mana 2-6. That doesn't even have 7 health at the start. So, it's going to be pretty dang hard. So that's, this is the second one I think we'll see the least play. Next we have this one, 2 mana, Cybertech Chip. <coughs> Give your minions death rattle, add a random mech to your hand. This is obviously pretty powerful, but we have a card in the game that's already like this. But it costs, I think, 6 or 8 mana and it gives you a... Uh, What it does, it gives you, like, beasts or something, and that doesn't see any play. This card's obviously cheaper, so it's much easier for you to be able to make use of it. And you can say, well, it draws you a card for only two mana, but you're getting a random mech. That might not be worth it. I don't really see this card being that good, because you also have to have things on the battlefield. Hunter doesn't need any more death rattle stuff. Right now it already has plenty of stuff that it's doing with death rattles. I don't see it being necessary. So that's why I rank in it pretty low. Next card. Row card. Pogo Hopper. 2 mana, 1-1. One, one. Mech, battle cry, game, plus 2, plus 2 for each other Pogo Hopper you play this game. Ah. Uh, this card doesn't really do what I think it should. It's not great, you know what I mean? I'm not saying it's bad, I think that it's just really slow at what it's trying to do. It, but it does combo with something in the in the next expansion, this uh, Lab Recruiter. So what you would want to do is obviously play these two on the same turn. Pogo Hopper and then play Lab Recruiter on the Pogo Hopper. So you can shuffle more Pogo Hoppers in your deck, draw them, keep playing them over and over again. And you can eventually get a very big pogo hopper. And that could be a decent, decent strategy. But I don't see it being the best thing you can possibly be doing. That's why I'm writing it kind of low. But I'm going to try it out for sure. Just because I really like Rogue. Even though it's not a great class in Standard. The next card that uh, I think... This card is actually pretty good based on the fact that it's a mech for no other reason than that <coughs> it's a four mana <coughs> two four death rattle summon a one one ooze with poisonous and rush now that's not great if you because this card doesn't have rush so when they kill this they get to decide what goes on with the one one unless they let it live so that it's not great. Most there's a lot of hero powers that can kill those one one for free, and if that happens, you're just wasting your time. So I don't like that about this card. But if you magnetize another mech with this, you're getting a lot of value. So that's why I have it ranked up this pretty high. The last card we're gonna look at is Omega Assembly. One mana, 
discover a mech. If you have 10 mana crystals, keep all three. This is a warrior card. This is a great card in my opinion. One mana, it barely costs you anything to do this. It draws you one of three cards that you get to pick from. They might not be great. They might be amazing. Who knows? But it's not like you're investing that much into your... It's only one card, but it's only one mana crystal, and that's the big thing. And at the end of the game, you're basically drawing three cards to refuel. I really like this card, and I think it's the best one they showed off. I don't... So far, they haven't shown me anything that's going to allow Warrior to keep up with uh, that uh, stupid Shaman combo deck. And that's my only worry so far. So, hopefully they give us a way to get rid of Shutterwalk. Otherwise, all these control warrior cards are not going to do a damn thing. And we're just going to have all these cool control warrior cards and never be able to use them. And that's the last card that they showed, so this is the end of the video.